Hey folks, today we're going to be using the near tool to find distance between features in ArcGIS Pro. So first we'll right click on our feature, we'll go to properties, under the spatial reference we'll click the drop down, and we'll see what coordinate system that the feature class is in. This is important because the near tool will use that coordinate system's linear unit. So we're in the ArcGIS Pro documentation here, and what we're really looking at is this near distance here. So it says the near disk is the distance between the input and near feature. The value is the linear unit of the input feature's coordinate system or meters when the method parameter is set to geodesic and the input is in a geographic coordinate system. If no near feature is found, the value will be negative one. So this essentially states that when we're in a geographic coordinate system, such as WGS, the linear units will be meters. So if we don't want meters to be our units, then what we can do is we can reproject our feature class into a coordinate system that is better suited for what we need. So we'll go to analysis and we'll go to tools and we'll type in project. Once we have it, we can click it. So we'll input the feature class we want to make the transformation for. We'll name and save the new feature class that's going to be created from the, this projection that we're conducting. And then we'll pick an output coordinate system. So I happen to know the coordinate system that I'm looking for. But if you didn't know it, then what you can do is you can click the globe here. This will open up a dialog box where you can use the search bar here, search for your coordinate system, or you can use the drop down and manually look through the list. Once you've selected it, you can hit OK. Once you have the coordinate system you would like to reproject to, you can hit Run. And when it's done running, you will have a new feature class that's in the projection. Just to check, I would open up the properties and see if the new feature class is in fact and what linear unit you have. We can see here that our linear unit is feet. U.S. survey feet. We can close this out. And now we're going to use the near tool to determine how far the libraries are from the route. The libraries are the purple and white points, and the routes are the greenest line. And so to do this, we'll use the near analysis tool. So we'll go to analysis tools. Type in near. Once we have it, we can click it. Then we'll fill out the tool. Under input features, we'll put the feature class we want to have inputs. And then we'll put the feature class that we want to be measured from under the near features. Under the methods, I'll put geodesic. And then I'll leave all of the fields that will be put into the input features. I will leave those as default. So we have the feature ID, we have the distance and the X and Y coordinate. After we have that, we can hit run. And so now what we want to do, we'll go to the input feature, which is this libraries feature. We'll open up the attribute table and we'll look for all those fields. And you can see that they have been entered. So if we right click and we click sort ascending on the distance field, then we can scroll to the top and see the shortest distance between two features. And this happens at this point or library here. And what's the library is 675 ish feet from a route. So you'll want to verify this. So what we'll do, we'll hit the measure tool, we'll change it to geodesic, and then we'll change it to our units which were US feet. And so we'll do our best to measure from the library to the routes and see if we get a number that's comparable. And yes, we do. So this tells us that our process was performed correctly. You'll want to do this for a few points just to verify. And once you've verified, congratulations, you've performed near analysis. If this video was helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content. Thanks.